What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones. Tara, this reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Y'all, we're going to dive in and see what messages come out for you. We're going to do the next three months. Let's do the next three months, okay? Let's write it down. May, June, July. Because I ain't going to be able to remember. Okay, so let's start off. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all having a fabulous weekend, okay? Let's see if we can pull the energy for the next three months, okay? Spirit, what about May? For Scorpios, 2023. What's happening in May for Scorpios? 2023. Oh, this is going to take a lot of energy. I just felt it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. May for Scorpio. What's going to happen in May for Scorpio? Overall energy for the month of May for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Overall energy for the month of May for Scorpio. Overall energy for Scorpio in the month of May 2023, please, Spirit. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have number one, number 28. That's 10. So a new beginning, one, and then an ending. So princess, you can be your own knight. And then 28, protest, start a revolution. Okay. So that's May's energy. Bottom of the deck castle. It's time for healing, not war. Okay, so whatever needed to be let go in the month of May is being let go of. Okay, you're starting new. You're starting over. You're going to be learning to fight for yourself. You know, work for things that are meant for you. I also see you surrounding yourself around people that have kind of like like-minded, that are like-minded, that have like the same goals, same dreams, same aspirations. A lot of y'all could be meeting your soul tribe. Some of y'all may go shopping or doing a lot of shopping or even get a new tattoo. I don't know why this little tattoo on her arm is standing out to me. Some of y'all could be getting a new tattoo in the month of May. But a lot of y'all may be shopping. You could be changing up your style. Even your hairstyle is going to be changing up in the month of May. Wow, there's a lot of messages. Okay. Um, what about as far as love for Scorpio in the month of May? Love energy for the month of May for my Scorpios. What's going on with the love energy for Scorpios in the month of May? The love energy. We have not today, mirror, healing heart. Not today says not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. Some of y'all, yeah, with the princess, you can be your own knight. That's clarity. That's like the ace of swords. A lot of y'all are cutting people out. <laughs> A lot of y'all are cutting people out. Somebody may piss you off too. Or this could be somebody that's already pissed you off, that you already know cut off. You still may not be talking to them in the month of May. And it's because with this protest energy, you're you're putting your foot down. Like you're letting it be known. Like I will not put up with no BS. I'm not putting up with no BS. I'm not doing it. Mirror, mirroring each other's self-image relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection. Remember the people that you surround yourself by are like mirrors of you, Okay. A lot of y'all are going to be like meeting people. I just heard AA. So some of y'all, you know, if you have like a drinking problem or drug addiction or something like that, you're going to be like, a lot of y'all may be getting help. You're going to be meeting people that are 333 on the phone. You're going to be meeting people that are kind of like going through the same thing with you. Like, you know, heartbreak, uh, single parents, you know, maybe starting a business. Like a lot of y'all are surrounding yourself around those people, people that are kind of mirroring your same experiences. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Others of you, I just seen TikTok. So a lot of y'all could be getting on TikTok, maybe sharing your stories. Uh, maybe, you know, like going through kind of like following people that are kind of going through the same phase that you're going through at this time. You know, even with tarot, you know, a lot of times when we tap into messages, um, when we're tapped into that message, it's, uh, it's the energy of the collective. So like a lot of y'all may uh, start to meet people that, that are going through the same thing. Like some of y'all may share some of your stories in the comments, or uh, maybe you find a new tarot reader that they're tapped into your exact energy. And you're like, wow, well, I'm gonna start following this person, you know, cause not all of them y'all, you know, not all of them are on the same frequency that we're on or the, in the same position, you know, same point in our journey is what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. So a lot of y'all may be finding like more tarot readers to watch or different tarot readers to watch. Maybe you're not aligned with this one anymore and you're aligned with this one. Or um, this could even be friends, family, you know. A lot of y'all, because y'all are on this healing energy. So, you know, yeah, you're getting into alignment with this twin flame energy. 
you're getting into alignment, you know, you're releasing karmic cycles, karmic connections, karmic relationships. Y'all, my dumb tail just realized that one of the people that I was connected to, which was like a family member, was a karmic to me. Like, it didn't dawn on me until the other night when I was in meditation. I was like, girl, how did you not know that? So some of y'all could be realizing that. Like, y'all could be having like them epiphany moments like, wow, that was a karmic. Because you forget karmics aren't just lovers. Like, they're family members too. And you're like, you know. Anyway, sorry. That was my little, my little slow moment, you know. I was like, I said, oh, I said, oh, man. Like, dang, I wish I would have known better, you know. But, you know, we live and we learn. All right, tell me more what's going on in the month of May for Scorpio. What's going on in the month of May for Scorpios, please, spirit. Friends, friends, acquaintances, networking. Yeah, a lot of y'all about to start meeting new people. Travel, y'all could be getting out traveling with them. Vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. Just enjoying yourself in the month of May. A lot of y'all are going to be enjoying yourself, getting out there. Like, you know, get, getting outside, getting outside, you know, meeting up with people doing things, maybe traveling, meeting new faces. Some of y'all could be traveling and like you actually gonna get out and meet new people. You know, like maybe traveling to a different city, different town, maybe going to the mall. Maybe you never go to the mall. You know how us Scorpios are. We very like isolated. <laughs> so like maybe some of y'all gonna start going to the mall more, going to the park more. Y'all may meet like a parent at the park and like y'all just vibe. Y'all just click together. You're like, wow, you know what? You want to exchange numbers and like we can come up here and our kids can play, you know, something like that. What's going on? What else going on in the month of May for Scorpio, please, spirit? Salt or sugar. Be careful who you let in your circle now, okay? It's okay to meet people, but of course, you know, be careful. Make good judgment on people. I wouldn't say misjudge somebody, you know, always be open and available to meeting new people, but you know, use your discernment. Thank you, spirit. Use your discernment when it comes to certain people, certain situations. It says, be careful. They both look the same. Salt or sugar. Looks can be deceiving. You know, don't let nobody play in your face or play with you. Yeah, venting, talking about your issues, especially when it comes to like you sharing your business. Um, don't be too upfront with, with telling all your business to people, you know, to folks. Okay. You know, remember to keep some of that to yourself. Don't be too open with people when it comes to your business. Maybe learn to hold back just a little bit. What's the salt or sugar, please, spirit? Salt or sugar. Yeah, four of cups. Especially when it comes to some of y'all, if y'all dating like new people, don't be too quick and too open to like tell your business. <laughs> like, like, zip it up a little bit. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Because there's faded changes that's happening in your life right now, Scorpio. You may want to tell some people, but Spirit is telling you not to with the Four of Cups. Eight of Wands. Yeah, because there's a, the Magician. A lot of y'all, there's a page of swords. There's a lot of fast movement that's happening for you. Or a lot of quick things that's happening for you. Like you're about to start taking off because you've been manifesting, right? But with this page of swords energy, there could be people that either gossip about you or want to gossip about you. Or they, they may not be happy because maybe situations aren't happening for them, you know, with this page of swords energy. Maybe something's delayed. Some of y'all, y'all may have something taking off for you. Be careful who you talk to because they could be sending negative energy um, or trying to manifest delays for you. You know, they they would like this is somebody that like say they owe you money. They would purposely not give you the money. Or like say you got to be somewhere at a certain time for like a job and they will purposely show up late to get you there late so you don't get it. You know you know what I'm saying? So just be careful because change is happening. The will of fortune is fated change. It's meant to happen for you. So, you know, just be careful who you trust with your business, you know, with your information. Okay, spirit. Can I have a card for Scorpio for the month of May? And I'm going to do another reading here. Um separate when I do money reads for those. Month of May for Scorpio free spirit. Okay. Scorpio romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. So the month of May, y'all may meet somebody, Booski. Y'all may meet a boo thing. Hey. Hey. Okay, let's get one. Okay, because it, it did it. Y'all may y'all may meet y'all boo thing. <laughs> the month of May. Y'all let me each other thing. Okay, what's this? What's this energy for the month of May? Clear for the romance for the month of May. For Scorpio, the month of May for Scorpio. What I say, you boo. <laughs> Calling in your soulmate. 
your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Y'all calling in y'all soulmate. Y'all person that y'all meant to be with. But look, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Be cautious of somebody not revealing their true selves, okay? Somebody may be hiding something here, okay? Be careful with that honeymoon at the bottom of the deck. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You know, it may be the holiday, the, the honeymoon phase, you know, all, all happiness and, and, and all this and all that. So be careful not to be um, duped by somebody. Somebody may be hiding. So what are, what are they hiding, though, spirit? Clarify the deception card. What is it that they're hiding? Drama? Not one. Ooh, maybe they may sleep around. Or they could have slept around in the past. They may be hiding other people that they're talking to with this five of wands. I don't like that. Three of swords. Ew, child. Three of pentacles. Out now. <laughs> Baby, honey, honey, sweetheart. Oh, gosh. Or oh, this could be you, Scorpio. You may not be telling people that you, you know, they got competition. I don't know. 11 on one. I just seen on the phone. Some of y'all, y'all may end up rejecting this person with this four of cups because they may have too much going on or they may have too many options, especially with that knight of wands at the bottom of the deck. You may not want somebody to sleep around like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, five of cups. Ugh, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go to June, okay? Let's go to the month of June. Let's see. 1127. All right, month of June for Scorpio. I'm going to try to put the uh, the time spots, time slots on the in the comments. All right, month of June for Scorpio. Month of June for Scorpio, please, Spirit. What's coming... Dragon, slay them all. Number six. All right, y'all going to have choices in the month of June. Bottom of the deck, sword. Make the change. Number seven. Some of y'all may be changing your hair color. Y'all may be cutting your hair, doing a different style, doing a different color. You may change up your clothes, your wardrobe too. Why does this keep coming out? Number six. And choices, again. Choices, energy here. Okay. Y'all could be cutting off people in the month of June because you feel like that you can't trust them or you feel like they may be kind of like these are people that have already kind of shown you who they are though because she's missing a leg there. You see what I'm saying? So these are people that have already either came for you or like haven't had your best interest in some sort of way. They've like hurt you or betrayed you or stabbed you in the back or talked about you or said something negative. Okay. With this sword here, this is giving me clarity, ace of swords energy. Like you're seeing things clearly now. You see things for what it truly is. And I feel like in the month of June, y'all not going to really be giving too many people. My nose is itching. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all not really going to be giving uh, people too many chances here to play with you. Like you kind of like, you know, like own it. Like uh, fool me one, shame on me. Uh, fool me one, shame on you. But I don't think y'all going to get no personal second chance here. What, okay, clarify the month of June for Scorpio. What's happening in the month of June for Scorpio? Who? Month of June for Scorpio. This is why I try not to do too big of a read like this because it drains my energy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I like it. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all about to be meeting some people, but it's, but it's like, it's like, yo, first time you show me deception, it's out of here. You getting cut off. Wedding rings. Ooh, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting. Some of y'all are getting engaged or y'all will be getting married in the month of June. Congratulations. Others of y'all, y'all could just be getting into a relationship. Um, but with the Ace of Swords, you may express to them how people have lied to you in the past. So you may kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Is that a white cat? That is a white cat. Where did a white cat come from? So um, some of y'all may be like very, you're, you're, I feel like you're going to be very open about how somebody has burned you in the past. Yeah, the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Make sure you're focusing on healing your abandonment issues and things like that. That way, if you do have to cut somebody off, you won't feel like you need to chase them. Or if somebody cuts you off or releases you, you feel like you don't need to chase them, okay? Make sure you're not codependent on somebody. Clarify another in the month of June for Scorpio. Mask. Ooh, not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend, delude, gaslight. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all ain't with the ish in the month of June. You like, baby, you the first time you the first the first time you gaslight me, the first time you show me that I can't trust you, you out of here. This friends, lovers, 
business partnerships, whatever. I, I don't feel like y'all taking a lot of ish. Yeah, the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. I'm telling y'all, whoever this person is that put you in competition in May, I see you cutting them completely out in June. Like, they not even, I don't even see them in your, you see what I'm saying? I don't even, in your, they just said vicinity. <laughs> All right, what's going on in the month of June? I feel like y'all gonna y'all may even block somebody, but I think it's after after you've given them your stinger. What's the uh, month of June for Spark, y'all? What's this for the month of June? Yeah, twin flame, spiritual alignment, effortless, and karmic. A lot of y'all are releasing people that are no longer in alignment with you, people that no longer. Toxic story, new opportunity. Some of y'all, like a relationship is really coming to a complete end in the month of June. Like it's it's done. If they try to gaslight you, I don't feel like it's going to work anymore. It's like if they try to like give you fake feelings or fake emotions, it doesn't work anymore either. Like they can't, they can't hide behind the mask. It has something to do with a past lover. Can I have one more for the month of June for Scorpio? Yeah, wildflower. Limited potential, shy withholding. Yeah, some of y'all like, y'all may be a little nervous. Going in towards going towards this new beginning, gossip, neighbor, small talk, grapevine. And it could be because people are like gossiping about this. They may make you feel a little intimidated. Ooh. Some of y'all are gonna be dating somebody and like it's gonna be gossip. I'm I'm not even gonna lie. Like it's gonna be some it's gonna be some gossip going on. People are really going to be talking about this because whoever this is, they're going to be dating you. They're going to be whining you, taking you out, doing things for you. Y'all going to have some like very good chemistry, very passionate. You know what? Courting man, uniform, professional male. Some of y'all, this person is very professional. They're very businesslike. This person could, you know, be a really good catch. Oh, he got green eyes. Some of y'all, this person may have green eyes, made like a short haircut. Male or female? Some of y'all, this person could be like business minded, you know, all about their business. I just heard all about the Benjamins, baby. So it could be about the Benjamins, about the money, you know, they about their bag. Some of y'all, this per the reason why this person's attracted to you because you may just kind of be off to yourself. You may not be out there, out there like that. For one or two, this is this person like that. Y'all may be the people that like go out drinking and y'all just kind of like off in the corner to yourself, not really like laughing and kick, kick, kicking with anybody. Or oh, this is this person. Okay. What other card did I use? I'm trying to see. Okay. Month of June. Clarify the month of June for Scorpio. Please, Spirit. Clarify the month of June for Scorpio. The month of June. I'm saying y'all attracting. Be careful. Make sure you stay in high vibration now. Because if you're high vibrational, you attract what? High vibrational things. If you're low vibrational, you attract what? Low vibrational things. Look at that. Your light is shining and look what's coming. Insects. Low vibrational things. People coming in trying to gaslight you. People coming in trying to put on these fake fake masks. Bring, bring this fake facade. So be careful. Keeping you a secret. And don't let nobody keep you a secret. You not no secret. You not no secret. The what? A lot of y'all have to cut that person off too if they've been doing that. Love story. Once upon a time, you know. Okay. Already knowing the tea and setting the record straight. Oh, honey. Some of y'all. <laughs> Why? Insecure. Oh, child. Insecure. Some of y'all, y'all about to have somebody that might have kept their emotion secrets. Watching Ish go down, enjoying the gossip. There's some some kind of gossip going on in the month of June. In the month of June. Month of June. What is that? Month of June. Keeping you a secret. Somebody that might have kept they kept you a secret or kept like their emotions for you a secret because they were quite insecure. I feel like they're going to be opening up here. They're going to be opening up. They're going to be expressing that they felt insecure about the situation or the connection. They didn't feel, you know, they may, may have felt shy or felt like they had, like they didn't see the potential with you or something like that. But I feel like this person, it's like this is somebody that, wants to be with you but maybe they felt like they weren't enough for you you know like they weren't enough for you or weren't going to be enough for you so they could be hiding their feelings but i feel like in the month of june somebody's going to open up to you 
open up to you and express to you how they truly feel. What's the attracting for Scorpio? What's that attracting energy for Scorpio in the month of June? Clarify that attracting energy for Scorpio in the month of June. Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Who child? Reject any third party situations, the magician. Reject any third party situations because you don't want them. Others of y'all, y'all attracted new friends. New people to celebrate with. New people to go out with. The Four of Pentacles, y'all could be saving your money as well. Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. Some of y'all are walking away from like being stuck in the house. Be careful getting out too much and partying. You may spend too much money. But it's kind of like, okay, I'm ready to get back out there type of energy. Some of y'all are walking away from healing and holding back. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior Energy, Judgment. Yeah, because some of y'all are like in this wounded warrior energy in the month of June, like, but you're still being resilient. You're still ready to push through. You're making the decision to push through and give it another chance, ace of pentacles, and then that's when it comes in. So in the month of June, you may decide like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get back out there and I'm going to start dating because maybe you've been holding back, right? You're holding back, but it's like something about the month, of, month, month I keep saying much of June, month of June that... Really, you got to be open, okay? You got to remember to be open. If you want love, you want con connections, new contracts with people, you got to be open to it. I feel like y'all going to be holding back y'all emotions. So very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Because it's like, it's like, it's giving me, you want new connections, but you also kind of like, I'm guarded because I've been hurt in the past. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Some of y'all, you may... Some of y'all, y'all may feel like, like, say you're married, right? You got to wait until the divorce is finalized. You may feel like you can't date until the divorce is finalized, right? Others of you, you may feel like, oh, well, I have kids. So it's, you know, I really shouldn't date like this, that, that, right? Others of you, maybe y'all two have two different religions. Or if you're spiritual, you know, you're very spiritual. You're like, well, I don't want to just attract any old person. You know, I ain't trying to be sleeping with somebody that's out here for the streets. You know what I'm saying? So that may affect who you open up to as well. Forgiving and learning is in reverse here. Some of y'all remember to forgive the past. Learn from the past, okay? That way you can come out of hermit mode. You keep getting this like hermity, like healing energy retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Some of y'all keep getting this hermity, like healing energy, like y'all still trying to heal. So what's this very soon? Clearly decide what you want. I feel like this is like, it's like you in, you getting into alignment. You won't do love, but then you kind of like, well, I, done had that, I had to cut so-and-so off. I had to cut that mo mofo off right there because I don't trust it, you know. What's the very soon energy about for Scorpio? To a pen, y'all can't make up your mind. <laughs> Four swords. You're like, well, am I still healing? Okay, well, am I ready? Am I still healing? Am I ready? I don't know if I'm. I'm I don't know if I'm ready. Yeah, I want to get out there. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Like y'all going back and forth. It's like y'all start meeting new people, but y'all still home back. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Page of Cups. The Four of Swords. It's like somebody could even come in with like. You know, a little crush come in. They're like, hey, you are, I want to take you out. Oh, well, I'm not feeling too well tonight. I just need to go home and rest. <laughs> I'll tell you, two of swords. Can't see something. The hangman, stagnation. Listen, in the month of June, if you want a relationship, you got to make up your mind if you want to date or not. Because there's going to be somebody coming towards you or there's going to be a couple people coming towards you that want to date you. But you got to make up your mind. If you if you plan, if you set a date, you got to be like, okay, I'm going out on a date. Don't be like, hey, um, I just wanted to text you ahead of time. I'm not going to be make, be able to make it Thursday because I'm under the weather. <laughs> I can't fool with you, Scorpio. I can't fool with you. <laughs> I can't fool with you. What's the uh, very what what's the energy for June for Scorpio? Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. A lot of y'all, y'all may be working a lot. So that could be another reason too in the month of June. While you're in that forest or you like, honey, I'm tired. Okay. I don't even have time. I don't even have time to like count the sheep. <laughs> like I'm tired. 
assert yourself, go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Birth of a child also likely. Some of y'all, y'all tired because y'all up, you know, boom, booming all night because y'all trying to make a baby for the ones in a connection. Others of you is saying like in the month of June, Scorpio, this is the time to meet people to actually like, but you got to put, you got to assert yourself. You got to be like, okay, I'm going to be assertive. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to meet people. I'm not going to make a big excuse and say that I'm tired and I'm sleepy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Scorpio, let's go to the month of July. Let's see, 25, 23. Month of June, Scorpio. Let's see. In the month of June, what's going to come for you in the month of June? One second, let me put the phone on charger. Sorry, y'all. I mean the month of July. The month of July, 25, 23. The month of July for Scorpio. What's happening for Scorpio in the month of July? All right, month of July for Scorpio, please, Spirit. What's the month of July for Scorpio? What's happening for Scorpio in the month of July? Month of July for Scorpio. Here we go. 14, that's five, so changes. Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. Look at you. A lot of y'all are going to be focused on yourself, building yourself up, right? Tree, let them go. But I also feel like you're surrounding yourself around people in July that... If you see somebody else that needs to be uplifted, I feel like you're going to be one to help uplift them as well. Because it's not just one person fixing a crown. Like, they're all working together. So I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be working together with people, collaborating with people. But these are people that really respect you, that admire you. Y'all kind of have, like, the same inspiration towards each other. Like, it's kind of like if there's, like, a mean boy, mean girl type of energy, I see you letting them go. And you're really only focusing on the people that... that like genuinely want to see you do good. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to see them do good and they want to see you do good. And like, y'all just kind of, y'all energy is, is just there. It's like that good vibe, you know, high vibrational, good vibe and energy. Like, man, I want to see you do good. I want to see you do good. You know, it's that. But I see you with that let them go. I see you letting go of people that kind of aren't, they don't want the best for you. I see that, that changing too. What's uh, thorns for Scorpio in the month of July, please, Spirit? Thorns for Scorpio in the month of July, please, Spirit. Okay, bottom of the deck, girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yes, just having fun. A lot of y'all may be single. You could have started dating, but some of y'all may be single. Or this is just you enjoying your single time. You know, even if you're in a relationship, you may be taking more time to yourself and like spending it with your friends. I see sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Who child? There could be somebody watching you, stalking you in some sort. I don't really want to say stalking, but um, people may see you kind of like uplifting other people. Or they see like they may see you as like an inspiration, you know, because you're here. It's like you're working on yourself, but you're also helping other people see the light in them, like helping them fix their crown. You know what I'm saying? With that sunglasses card. Then we also have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Yeah, a lot of y'all are doing some internal healing. Some self-reflection. A lot of y'all are like preparing yourself to move towards the new phase. Or the next phase in your life. So if you did start dating here. And you may be uh, moving into a commitment in the month of July. For some of y'all. You may be meeting people that are helping you heal your inner child too as well. Y'all are going through like a huge transformation. So with that 14 being five, there could be major changes happening in July where you may be going from, maybe y'all were just dating, being single. You know, you may consider yourself still single, but then y'all actually like change your Facebook status or, you know, you get, you say, okay, y'all make it official, you know, but then we have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional string along one night stand. Y'all may not want to give up y'all. Scorpio. Some of y'all may not want to give up your options or there's like a lot of decisions you may have to make in July. Make sure to look out for anybody that's like gaslighting you like they want a relationship and they really don't and they just string them, stringing you along because they're not sure if they want commitment or not. If they do, make sure you walk away from situations like that. You know what I'm saying? And have your friends, you know, open up to your friends about it so that they can help uplift you to let go of situations like that. Because you do deserve better. You don't deserve to be strong along or just be an option. 
Now, some of y'all doing this. <laughs> some of y'all doing this. Just make sure you let them know, like, I'm not really looking for anything serious. I'm just looking for a good time. Don't have, don't be um, lingering people on here. What's, okay, July for Scorpio. Child, some of y'all about to get into a relationship. Serious relationship, marriage, or partnership. I told y'all, some of y'all going to be getting married. Some of y'all getting engaged. Some of y'all getting into a relationship. Like, y'all not going to be single, Scorpio, no more. Y'all going to be, like, in a commitment. Some of y'all may even move in together. Yes. Some of y'all may even work together. Yes. Work profession, college, and workplace. Some of y'all going to meet somebody in the workplace. Some of y'all, this person may go to college or may be in school here. What's at the top? Soulmate. Great connection and relationship. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all about to be in a relationship. Clarify this energy for Scorpio for the month of July. Dating, whining, dining, and romance. I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all about to be dating. Like, y'all about to be, like, getting wined and dined and young female, youthful music and fashion. Some of y'all, y'all about to have, like, a lot of fun. Y'all about to be in this young energy, whether you're male or female, or this is who you're dating, a younger person. Yeah, y'all about to have some fun times, a lot of passion here. Yes. Courting man, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was the other deck that I used? Oh, this one right here. Okay. Clarify the month of July. Y'all, I'm about to end this reading. I'm going to hurry up and end this reading because it's making me tired. All right, July for Scorpio. Clarify this energy for July for Scorpio, please, Spirit. July. Keeping a promise. I'm telling you, some of y'all about to get engaged or some of y'all about to be in a full-blown relationship. And standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. And you, like, y'all going to be defending this. Y'all don't care who got anything to say about it. This is y'all relationship. Divorce, breaking up, contract, bad choices. Some of y'all, it's like, if y'all divorce somebody or somebody treated you like an option. First of all, be careful of getting involved with somebody that's already married or engaged. Don't sleep with some, oh, child. Some of y'all may hear about a uh, uh, cheating scandal. Divorce, breaking contract, bad choices, sexual protection, caught up. Yeah. Some of y'all may hear about like a, a, a cheating scandal or something like that. Watching ish go down and join the gossip. Yeah, it could be some gossip going on. Game over. And that could be coming to an end. Oh, child. Clarify keeping a promise for Scorpio, please. Spirit. Clarify that keeping a promise. The devil. Oh, child. What's that? Keeping a promise for Scorpio. There could be Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Listen. There may be some gossip about if you were involved in this third, say you were the one that were married or you could have been the third party. I don't know. Um, there was some toxic energy that happened here. Some type of obsessive toxic energy here. Somebody may be trying to work through that or work that out with you. Find a way to work that out with you to start a new foundation. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Three of Swords, Knight of One. Baby, somebody, uh-uh. There was some betrayal, some heartbreak, some pain. The Tower, yeah, it caused the Tower moment. Nine of Cups. If you're healing from this, I see you moving on from this, healing from this, Okay. And I see you actually being happy. So if a lot of y'all are dealing with like about to be single because there was some sort of cheating or something like that, or, you know, maybe you were married, somebody cheated on you, went towards a third party. I see you actually finding a way to be happy. Now, others of you, the ones that was in a third party situation that did the cheating or, you know, were doing like that, I see this selfish energy. Somebody like being very, very selfish, wanting their wishes to be fulfilled. And they're doing whatever they can to make this promise happen for them. But I don't, I don't, I don't really like that energy because it's coming off quite toxic with that devil. It's, uh, yeah, ten of swords. It's betrayal here. If you're thinking you're about to get your wishes fulfilled, there's going to, something, um, some sort of terrible ending is going to happen. 
And I'm not quite sure what that is. It's not going to, the lovers, the nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be choosing to be single instead. The lovers with the nine of pentacles. The five of swords, because they sabotage something. Seven of swords by sneaking, lying, cheating to get to this relationship. Four of wands, the empress, the king of pentacles, the ace of swords, somebody, ten of pentacles. Yeah, the star, the ace of cups, seven of pentacles, the sun, somebody, yeah, the emperor. Oh, five of cups. It's like, so, yeah. I mean, it looks like some good energy here, but. It also looks like somebody may be in regret. Somebody may end up being in regret about their investment here. But I feel like there's some maturity here too. But so I feel like somebody's going to be in regret about whatever this is, about the way that they work and they collaborated with the situation. Oh, child, what is this? Why Why is this here? Why, let me see if I can get a little more details. On. Why is this here? Why is the devil with the three of pentacles here? Why is the devil with the three of pentacles here for Scorpio? Marriage. Somebody's obsessed with ending some sort of marriage or commitment. Somebody is literally obsessed with like putting an end to a marriage or a commitment. The X factor. Someone's still caught up with an X, needing to X people out that are toxic and then manifesting, using the law of attraction, calling in your desires and wishes. And then why are you so obsessed with me? There's somebody that's obsessed with ending a marriage. Okay. Hustler, PTSD, single bachelor, bipolar disorder, U-turn, change in your mind, temperamental abuse, war-minded military. This is somebody who... Who, if this is somebody that did this to you, hustler always hustling, knows how to get what they want. PTSD. This person put you through a lot. PTSD, single bachelor, bipolar disorder. This person is going to end up having like suffering mentally. You turn, changing your mind about where you want to go or be. Temperamental. This person could have anger problems, abuse. This person could be abusive, war minded, uh, militant, and sketchy. There's something off about you, about them. Uh, whoever this is. This obsessive person, if this is their energy, they're going to be dealing with like some sort of mental, like they may be very angry, very upset. This person could be bipolar as well. They could have a mental disorder. Good child. Let's go. clarify some more on this. Why is this the energy for this person? What's wrong with this person? What is wrong with this person here? In my zone, minding my own business, and then jumping to conclusions. You could be very disrespectful. You could be minding your own business, burnout. What's up with this person? Two souls merging together. Somebody's going to end up burning themselves out, setting intentions. I feel like somebody's trying to get back at you. Yeah, unwanted opinions, people giving you unsolicited advice or feedback, gamble, taking a risk. This person could have listened to other people. And so they took a risk. They assume something and you focus on your money. They could assume something. But anyway, they're going to burn themselves out by trying to either get back at you, fake news. Yeah, break free and chaos. There's about to be a lot of chaos here. Oh, gosh, gaslight. Whoever this person is, they gaslight. Grass looks greener, but it's artificial. For some of you, if this person, if this person did this to you and they're thinking the grass is going to be greener on the other side, it's, it's not. They're going to be disappointed. They're going to be left with disappointment because it looks like whatever chaos and gaslighting and trying to break free of this or somebody trying to break up a marriage or a connection or a commitment, they're thinking it's going to be worth it. But by the time they get to where they want to, they're going to be so burnt out that they're going to look at it and be like, compared to what was lost to what's going to be gained, they're looking at it like this wasn't even worth it, you know? Yeah, wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. Somebody's going to wake up and realize that it wasn't even worth doing all of that. Or stringing you along wasn't worth it. Gaslighting you wasn't worth it. Like they, they're, Somebody's going to look at it and be like, fancy living. Someone's used to living the good life. Because it's like they're thinking, I'm about to walk into some abundance with this person over here. Or I'm about to live my best life with this person over here. But that's not, that's actually not what's going to happen. 
I feel like you're going to be the one that's going to be living the good life. And they're going to look back and realize that they left the good life to go live. Hacked. Okay. The way that I'm getting it, the way that I'm channeling is, is whoever this person is, that's trying to end a marriage that's like gaslighting, like causing like stress, doing all this, doing all that to make sure something ends like this marriage, the commitment, the relationship, whoever this is trying to make this come to an end. They're thinking, wow, when I get over here to this connection, to this relationship, it's going to be everything I've ever wished for. And somebody's going to find out that it's not true. That's not what they're, they've wished for. It's actually the thing that they wish for and they wanted and desired is actually with you. But they looked as if the grass was greener on the other side, but they're realizing it's they're going to realize it's not. So somebody could be lying to them, telling them like they either have more money than they actually have or they're more stable than they actually are. Or they're going to be living a better life with them or they're going to do more like the relationship is going to be better with them. And then when they actually get into the relationship or the connection, they're going to realize it's not all of that. It's actually not what they thought it was. Why? Clarify that. With that fancy living and hat. Six of cups. Because somebody's going to be thinking about the past. Why? Three of wands. Why? King of cups. Why is that? The eight of cups. They're going to be thinking about the past. Nine of pentacles. Because things are going to be slow moving. Somebody's going to be stuck in their head. They're going to be defensive. They're going to be trying to move to calmer waters. But the page of source energy. There's going to be like delayed disappointing news here. To a one, somebody may be indecisive about marriage or commitment or about getting married. It's like somebody is, yeah, it's like it's going to be fun and nostalgic and free, but somebody's also going to be thinking about the past. And it's like they're waiting for their ships to come in, right? Trying to be more mature, be more stable, or they're going to be waiting for somebody's emotions to become more stable. But Eight of Cups, I see somebody, oh, I see somebody end up walking away, though. Walking away from what? Why the Eight of Cups there? Seven of Pentacles. Walking away from the investment. The Emperor of the Five of Cups. And it's because there's some sort of regret about either trying to be controlling towards the situation. Page of Wands. The Five of... Yeah, because it's like they're waiting for... They're waiting for good news to come in, but the Five of Pentacles is showing um, lack energy. So again, it's kind of like if they thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side, like, man, I'm going to live my best life over here is they're actually in lack. They're going to be missing out. I don't know if it's because you're going to be in the abundance and then they're going to be looking back and realizing like, oh my gosh, the abundance was with Scorpio, thinking that it was on the other side. Honey, I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Okay, clarify this energy. For Scorpio for the month of July. All right, a couple of them popped out. We have, is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yes, you can open up to new love. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And then chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, it's like, if this person left you for somebody else in the month of July, I wouldn't take it though because it says many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Somebody may try to come back with a one night stand to re reignite reignite chemistry yeah thank you spirit i'm glad they said check the bottom but it says pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you but you've already seen how this person will treat you or how they act towards you so i would be cautious with this person because they've already shown you what type of person i'm telling you it's giving me opportunist vibes they already show they're already showing you what type of person they are what's the reconciliation with the chemistry for scorpio Ace of Pentacles. They're going to come back and try to start something else with you. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, after they betrayed you, possibly with a third party. Something about your confidence. Three of Wands. They see your ships coming in. They see you going towards new love. They see you loving on yourself, listening to your intuition. Eight of Cups. Yeah, they, they miss Seven of Pentacles. They miss the investment that you had. They want control. That's what it is. This person wants control. They miss the way that you used to love them. Like they want, it's, it's like they want the love that they once had with you in some sort of way. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. They want that loving relationship that y'all once had. Clarify that reconciliation with the chemistry. The Magician. They're going to be trying to manifest uh, a beginning with you again. 
the death card. I don't see you doing it. The world card. No, I don't see you doing it at all. Maybe with that death card, they may come back with an apology, say that they want to be friends or they want this connection again. Um, some of y'all, they're going to be rushing in really fast to try to work with you, partner up with you here. But justice is already served because you're getting what you're owed. You're just due, which is this King of Pentacles energy, which is your stability. King of Wands. Some of y'all going to be... So we are going to have an option between two people in the month of July. We got the Page of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody going to be trying to like move fast on something. Eight of Pentacles to Justice, Six of Pentacles. This is like justice being served. King of King of Pentacles, King of Wands, Two of Swords. Y'all may have a choice between two people. Give me a second. Y'all may have a choice between two people. Yeah. Okay. Well. I'm going to leave it there because I know it went too long in this reading, y'all. Oh, my gosh, 45 minutes. But this is your next three-month reading, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.